Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Dermis with Dr. Vignesh Naranar. Today we'll be talking about dermatophytosis of fungal infection. You may have commonly heard them as ringworm. Well, this is actually a misnomer as they are not actually worm but are fungi. They typically affect the superficial layers of your skin but may also affect your nails and may affect your hair. They typically feed on a protein called keratin that is present. These, when present on the skin, present as red enlarging circular patches which often has a central area of clearing. When they affect your nails, they may result in a yellowish discoloration and on your hair, they may result in a patchy loss of hair. These infections tend to spread from person to person by contact and also by sharing clothing and by towels. They occur in warm, moist environments and are thus more common in tropical countries and they tend to affect moist areas such as your body folds. These dermatophyte infections can be easily diagnosed by your dermatologist. In addition, they may do a few tests like skin scraping to confirm the same. What you must not do is self-medicate or take medication from quacks because these creams tend to increase the antifungal resistance and your chances of getting cured goes down. In addition, these creams also have their own side effects. Your dermatologist tends to be up to date about the antifungal resistance patterns that are going on and knows the drug that are going to be most effective in treating your condition. You need to take the medicine for the amount of time as prescribed by your dermatologist and not stop them early. In addition, the creams that are prescribed must be applied thoroughly and may have to be applied for 2 cm extra around the lesion. Remember to Wash your clothes in warm water and to air dry them and to sun dry them and to iron them before you wear them. Do not share clothes or uh, towels with others. Trim your nails short. Remember, visit your dermatologist and do not self-medicate. Let's fight dermatophyte and fungal infections together. Thank you very much for your patient listening.